Interestingly, and this is a key point I often tell people, the Maasai today or 10,000 years ago, it doesn't matter, their vitamin D is around 45 nanogram for men and around 55 nanogram for women. Now that's around 100 nanomole or 130 nanomole. So these are levels way higher than the guidelines. And they're natural levels, even though they have black skin. They've got intense UV. They've got a great diet with meat and milk. And they stay up in around 50 nanogram. But their cousins, genetically the same, genetically the same, the Bantu, they went to the cities, started wearing lots of clothes, eating processed foods, you know, that the white man brought. And their vitamin D is not much better than Europeans or Americans. It's down at 20 something. So we can see the real vitamin D level of the real healthy human. There's no question about this. And the guidelines put you like that even 20 is fine. And, and that's a lie. That's a fraud. Simple fraud. Here are Caucasian athletes in Wyoming. And they're out in the sun. They're very fit and healthy, not insulin resistant. That drives down your D level. And they're probably eating pretty well as well. I hope they're eating meat. I'm sure they were. And they're up men in the 40s and women in the 50s. So Caucasians, same thing. This is the healthy level. 30 nanogram I'd put as the lower limit of safety for me. But the system puts 20 or even 15 is okay. So it's a lie. It's a fraud. And this one I love from Professor Hollis. Hollis did this experiment with pregnant women and lactating women. And I thought it was a stunner. And he proved his point so eloquently that the world made sure no one heard about it. It was that good. It was made sure that no one knew about it. So evolutionary son, a mother might get 6,400 IUs a day of vitamin D. That was his estimate. And the baby only got the breast milk like 100 years ago and for the previous 10,000 years, 100,000 years, million years. So the baby only gets breast milk. Obviously, there's no supplements uh, in evolutionary history. And the mother would get lots of sun, obviously, because she'd be out working like the men are hunting. And they get loads of sun and usually good food. The modern reality is the mother, they recommend 400 IUs a day. Might be up to 800 now. So you can see the farce. All the women in America and Europe are all clothed. They don't want to get too much sun, right? And they recommended 400 instead of evolutionarily, they would have got 6,400 approximately. And because the baby obviously won't get enough vitamin D, they recommend 300 for the baby. Now, the baby's tiny, so 300 for the baby should mean a few thousand for the mother, right, body weight. But they don't care. They just don't care. It's idiocy. So that's the modern reality. They supplement the baby because the mother is deficient. Now, how many other things do babies per force must be supplemented because the mother's breast milk is universally deficient in something. How many other things? The answer is nothing. There's nothing else that breast milk, they say, the experts, is deficient and the baby will suffer. So you must supplement the baby. Nothing but vitamin D, right? So again, this is stupidity or fraud. So that's modern reality versus natural. So Hollis was very smart and he said, okay, I'm going to give the mothers in one arm of the RCT vitamin D3, plenty of it like would have happened in evolution. And the other side will just do nothing but the 400, but we'll supplement the baby, right? Baby has to be protected. So vitamin D3 in the breast milk for his mothers who got proper vitamin D was 47 in the breast milk. And naturally, the mothers who were getting 400 was 12. It was deficient in the breast milk for the baby. So the baby needed that supplement simply because the mother was not getting an appropriate amount. And 25 OHD in the mother over here supplemented was 57. And the 25 OHD over here was 38. It was much lower because they were only getting a trivial supplement. And this is nanograms. But the baby over here with the mother supplemented was 46, which is good. So he proved his point. 
The baby over here was directly given supplements and was 43. That's that's OK. But over here, the baby was getting no supplements. It was totally natural. He proved his point. And the milk activity of vitamin D in the women who were kept properly supplemented with vitamin D or got some sun as it came into spring was 780 units. And the women over here, their breast milk, in terms of vitamin D for the baby, was 147, which was useless. So he proved his point. You supplement the mother at an appropriate level and the baby's fine, just like was the case for hundreds of thousands of years. He's only proving basic reality.